You're going to be working with multiple backgrounds and animating things on the background. The first thing you need to do is you create the two backgrounds, the stuff that's going to stay stagnant, mean stay still. We need to go ahead and export each one of those out. So I'm going to click on the first one and do File, Export, Still. And I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to start frame one and make that a bitmap and just call this um, remove alpha and this is going to be um, house because it's the inside of the house okay and save it and the next one I'm gonna do is double click this and save this as outdoor so file export steals and go ahead and change it to a bitmap say okay remove alpha and name the file and call it outdoor. Be sure to put it in whatever project file you're working on. Choose save and get it out. I'm going to go ahead and click on frame one and do file insert or actually import stills. Go get the house and when I want the snow and background to start I'm going to go ahead and double click on frame 12 and do file import stills and go get the background now in the animation which is located it's actually the outside outdoor and if, delete these two because I no longer need them on the uh, on the level because I will need that for the animation okay so if I play it it should play and then it switches with animation using multi-levels. I currently have three levels. I'm going to have three things animating throughout the project. The first thing you should do is decide the order of what, how you would like to your animations to be on the screen. So for example, I'm going to right click on level one and I'm going to call this flames. That's going to be used for the fire, um, the fireplace that goes in the background. The second level, I'm actually going to make that my character. Okay, so I'm just going to call it character. And then the third level, I'm going to call this snow. So what that means is, if my character were walking, it would be covered by the snow. So whatever the last layer is, that layer is going to be on top of the object that's going to be animated in here. So snow will be falling in front of the character and the character will walk in front of the flame. You wouldn't want the flame to be in front of the character. So make sure you set up your levels in the proper order. Okay, hey, what I've done so far is I went ahead and drew um, two different types of flames so that I can animate these two back and forth. I drew one character. Um, you would do several poses, obviously, to do your walk. And I also did four different versions of snow so that it looks like it's starting from the top and then falling to the ground. All right, when you're working with levels as you're drawing, one thing that you would want to do is click on the light box where you see additional reference levels. If you just click on A, B, and basically A and B, you should be able to see what's on the previous levels when working with it but when you start working with it just be sure to turn those on okay so what I need to do now is I want to go ahead and just quickly animate this do is I'm gonna click on this background here and have it hold for about nine frames I'm gonna make copies of the flames together so I'm gonna hold down my shift key select both do command C double click 3 command V and then double click 5, Command V, and double click 7, Command V. And then I'll take this top one, Command C, double click this, and Command V. That way it'll look like the flame is going back and forth. So if I were to play it, the guy would stand in place. Okay, in this last step, I need to now make the snow interact with the background of the tree. But at this time, the snow is way up there. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is teach you something new. Um, I'm going to click once on frame three, 
hold the shift key down and select frame six. And then all you have to do is uh, click hold and drag and drag it to where you want the frames to start and voila, they're all moved down. So now let me go ahead and play. Now you notice the flames are um, going a bit fast. I can easily fix that by adding the in-between frames. And when I do that, I'll have to shift everything down. So um, it's I do not want your animations to go fast, so you want the in-between frames. I'm going to hold each frame for three. Three. For some reason, mine keeps going but all the way down. So just adjust your timing. You can work layer by layer, whatever uh, is easiest for you. I'm going to put this on just, if you pr click frame one, it'll start from the beginning and then press, press play. Okay. Now notice now the flame is in um, the wrong layer, so you'll have to adjust and maneuver however. But you have the tools to do that and you know what to do.